A hollow bug? So that's what was in the cocoon. But who... Ah, here you are, finally. I knew you wouldn't stray far from your nest. Ozius? That's funny. I was fully expecting to find you two all skin and bones, matted hair, living like frightened animals. But you look very healthy. Especially you, you. You are resplendent. So, it seems like the hornets weren't too much of a hassle. For the record, I personally objected to sending them. I preferred a more peaceful approach. But you know the council. Always so reluctant to live with the times. What do you want? Same as ever. You. You'll have to go through me first. If you wish to demonstrate your manhood and your strength by punching a hologram, be my guest. But I doubt this is going to impress anyone. <laughs> In your dreams? Perhaps we should let the interested party decide, my boy. <laughs> you. I know we got off on the wrong foot, you and I. But you have been on my mind constantly. Ever since our brief and rowdy encounter last time, the matchmaker could not have made a better choice for the two of us. And I'm sure that deep down you think so too. Which is why I don't want to bring you back to top by force. I'm confident that you will join me there of your own volition. What can I say? I'm a sentimentalist. It's just one more thing we have in common. That will never happen. <laughs> and another one. We're stubborn. You see, we're made for each other, you. In time, you'll come to realize that. And I'm ready to show some goodwill until you do. We have nothing in common. Oh, really? Both of us only children, raised on top, highly influential and neglectful parents. We developed a penchant for reckless behavior, desperately seeking attention. Both of us teenage prisoners of loneliness, stifled by our golden cages. And both of us self-willed adults, choosing to carve our own paths, in spite of what society tells us. We are the same, you, and I'm eager for you to realize it. And I'm ready to show some goodwill until you do. So give me your conditions. Anything you want, I will do everything I can to satisfy you. I want K. <sighs> I see. Some habits are hard to shake. Give me a chance. Take some time to know me. And after a while, if I'm still falling short for you, and you want to see K from time to time, I won't stand in your way. I want nothing from you. Very well. Then I'll give up everything I have. I'll vacate my seat on the council. And you and I can start from scratch. Everything we'll have, we'll build together. I won't stand in your way. You really don't understand, do you? Oh, yes, you. I understand. <laughs> I understand not to take you for granted. I even understand the odds look against me. But I never imagined that a mere holographic visit would be sufficient to convince you. You see, my purpose was merely to announce my impending arrival. Been held up by a few council matters, but I'll be on my way soon. It's an opportunity to spend some time together, learn to know one another, and to visit this source I've been hearing so much about. I'm sure my companionship will quickly change your mind. You'll see. And if that's not the case, then... Too bad. We can always recalibrate. What? Goodbye, you. See you very soon. No, wait, what? What did you just... Did he just talk about recalibrating? He did, but... I knew it. It's not a rumor. 